Hello guys and welcome back to Kenyan Formula One fans YouTube channel. We are back here for the Italian Grand Prix and uh, today Beata is not around but I brought you guys an assortment of guests so I'm just going to let them introduce themselves. Mutune Red Bull Max Verstappen fan um, and that's why I'm this happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, my name is Sende you born on Sunday, Ferrari since 2006. Yeah. yeah, we're the oldies of Formula One. Man. Born on Sunday, Born I love it. Sunday. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and we're just gonna get straight into the doozy of a race that we had over this weekend at the Emi 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 Emi. Hey, you've been practicing that thing. Just the tomorrow, Enzio, the Arab lost <laughs> Emiliano. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's just basically short form for Emilia Romana. I'm sure even the guys who or typed, short form Imola. Even the guys who typed out that name didn't know what they were saying. <laughs> <laughs> it was just guesswork on everybody's part. Yeah. yeah, but if, if any track deserves a long name, it's that one, man, because we had quite a race at that place. It was the first sprint race, the first sprint qualifying that we had of the season. Yeah. And actually, correct me, it's, a, it's a called a sprint, a sprint, not a sprint qualifying. We have the qualifying, we have the sprint, and we have the race. And it was quite an amazing, it was quite an amazing event, man. Uh, where do we start? We start with the qualifying? Quali, let's start with Quali. Quali was interesting, it was wet. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <yeah. laughs> we, had a, we had a wet qualifying for the first, not for the first time this season, <clears throat> but we had a wet qualifying and it was, it was quite interesting because um, for, part of the, for part of Q1 and Q2, actually yeah. for Q1 and Q2 it was dry. It was dry. Yeah, and then really the right. first major incident of quality happened. Yeah. Guys put in one lap uh, on softs in Q2. Uh, for the LH fanboys, LH's lap had him in 13. Then there was a crash. And there was a red flag. And the rain came. And people couldn't... <laughs> you think Mercedes was unlucky? That was so unlucky, man. Well, but tell you. everyone had one lap. Yes. Hamilton, That's Hamilton, the point. Was gonna, <laughs> Hamilton, <laughs> Hamilton was going to come in and put in a purple, purple, purple. I don't know what you guys are talking about. He can have when everyone else was putting their first lap. So. Yeah, but anyway. Yeah, the so that guy, so Hamilton was out in Q2 um, mm -hmm. again. And other notice, notable the, exits in Q2, sorry. It's the fact that he said again is for you to just notice. Last time you was out in Q1, last time you was out in Q1, it's improvement. Progress, it's progress, improvement. Progress. <laughs> also, Guan Yu Zhou and Mick Schumacher had really good pace mm. like in, in Q2, and then the rain came and yeah, messed their chances for both of them getting their first. Three I think this season, this season, all Ferrari power plant cars have just been on a roll because the Haas out of nowhere is suddenly looking like a quick car, especially in qualifying. Yeah. Alfa Romeo with Alfa Romeo with Bottas is just killing everything, hunting down George Russell during the race. You know, it's a really good car. But apparently, so Haas having they're being investigated for having the same exact cars for Ferrari. Like, <laughs> it's a white Ferrari. Yeah, again, it's a white Ferrari. It's a white Ferrari apart. Yeah, but I, I think I think I think it's just you know when a car is too fast, that's when guys start. If it was slow, no one yeah. cares. If it was slow, nobody cares about yeah. it. Nobody cares about it. It's, it's even Alpine who like did it for the investigation. Alpine are trying to they're trying to yeah. trying to see where they can sneak. Because those are red red hand competition. It's a midfield yeah. competition. It's a yeah. midfield competition. <laughs> but of course, of course, for this race, the qualifying qualifying was important. Yes. But the main thing was a sprint, and uh, after Q3, Verstappen came out on top, and the clock closely behind. And those two looking are looking more and more like the only title contenders for this season, until Mercedes can get their car sorted out, until Carlos Sainz can get his qualifying in order, until they are the only people who are looking. They're the only people who are looking like they Checo. can they can go all the way. Checo Checo is alright. Checo is alright. Checo is a good teammate. Yeah. Checo, my guy, my guy. Because the motors of men. <laughs> That's a painful title to have. <laughs> but it's actually true. It's actually no, true. No, no, motors are good driver, man. Yeah, they're all good drivers. And beyond that now we had the sprint on Saturday. And uh, what do you guys take away from the sprint? Oh, horrible start for Max. And the clock took him into the first corner. Me, I can't get myself to say Leclerc, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Charles Leclerc. I cannot. I Charles cannot. Leclerc. You say Leclerc. 
I don't know. I just got used to saying the clerk. Oh, the clerk. okay. I never even realized by the way. <laughs> it's you who's just told me right now. <laughs> yeah, but like I had him in the first corner. You know, yeah. I was pumped for that, man. But that sprint was actually quite boring, honestly. Uh, like, there was, the 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 there was not much that went on. Until. There was not much that went on. Until. Until. Uh, yeah, until, until. My guy. Which, which is very surprising for me because I always thought, like, you know, when the, when the regulations came, I thought, like, the sprint would feel like. I watched, like, Formula 2, like, races. Yeah, yeah. I thought the sprints would feel like that because in my mind, I was saying, like, now the cars have less, like, distance between each other. Mm-hmm. The sprinkler have been the best time for us to, like, see them overtake them as much, but it just didn't happen as much. I don't know it's because of the rain, but... It's, it's more exciting to watch yeah. them because, like, even even for, for Verstappen buses, like, like in... In the sprint race, yeah, like proper. they were, they were going, they were going at it. Verstappen was on his, was on his at his gearbox, like oh, for like yeah. four or five laps, yeah. and it was like really, really good racing. And that's that's that was the point of the whole regulation. But the, you also have to consider that this this the Imola is a really hard track to overtake, like generally. Yeah, generally. So yeah. the wet conditions didn't help it. Um, the fact that the fact that you know the cars the cars that were battling at the front are slow, are so closely matched this season. Yeah. You know, I, I was expecting I was expecting more to happen back there, like in the yeah. in the and midfield. The midfield, as well as ex- the midfield is like supposed to be a lot more exciting. Has been. Midfield has been crazy. Midfield has been where it's the party is at, man. You know, yeah. but the midfield okay. it was just there. Like I I don't know. I can't say I really enjoy the sprint race this season. But for I mean for that race, but let's hopefully hopefully there's more exciting races coming. And wh- where else are we having the sprint races? I'm not sure. Not sure. Possibly Silverstone. S- Silverstone. They uh, had one there last season. Yeah, they had one, and that was that was a doozy. That was a nice one. Yeah. We don't have in Miami. Interesting. I don't know. No, I don't think they're having. Yeah, Miami yeah, is just probably like, a normal like, qualifying. Interesting to have it. Like I'd yeah. like to see like a sprint race in the middle of Miami. Yeah. yeah. It would be interesting. I don't think it'll happen. But it's Miami Street. Is it a street circuit? It's, no, it's a circuit. Vegas is a street circuit. Yeah, Vegas yeah, is a street circuit. circuit. Yeah, so that's gonna be quite exciting. That's gonna be lit. Yeah. yeah. So after the sprint, of course, uh, our guy Max Verstappen came out on top. Charles Leclerc finished second, and uh, I, I feel like right now that's all everyone cares about. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's yeah, just know, watching yeah. those two. I don't think we have, uh, people are people are, uh, Lando's, Lando's achievement for that is very big because well. McLaren said the season where well, they are now so I had Lando oh, in my horrible. fantasy team for the first <laughs> <laughs> and immediately <laughs> after <laughs> oh it was yeah. my table driver. Wait. Yeah, so McLaren have come they've come they've come a long way with they the have, car, honestly. Have, Except Ricardo. No, Ricardo, Ricardo is trying. He's not doing too badly. In in Australia, he had he was sixth position, which was not bad. I thought it was a but personally, I thought him coming. I thought he was laughing, but seriously, man, you know, Ricardo left Red Bull. You see how he left it with chest. You know, like he yeah. left it and he was like, yo, you know, I'm leaving to win the honor be champion. champion. Bro, it's been a horrible experience. In his defense, in his defense, <laughs> last four years he has design. more wins than Lando in the McLaren. Exactly. He won in the McLaren. But Lando hasn't but won yet. Con- inconsistent, man. Like the car, the car is not. <laughs> this guy was racing with Latifi just the other day at the back. Yeah, but he's yeah. coming to someone's house. That's Lando's. That's Lando's team right now. Even since Carlos Sainz left, it's been Lando's team. So it's not gonna be. The, the thing that's important for him is that he's improving and he's just trying to watch his gap to Lando and it's getting closer and closer. Last season there was a point where he was so off Lando's pace. Yeah. Like he was he was being you were five positions between him and him and Lando Norris. It's ridiculously off. Yeah, so the fact yeah. that the fact that they're both like the the car is improving and you're seeing both of them that racing is improving. That's a, that's a, that's a good point for him. But Lando is a, I feel like he's a really underrated driver and guys are not He's gonna Calonzo everyone, man. Everybody will just be <laughs> looking at everyone else. Then Lando just pulls up with maybe four. Placement for Hamilton? Uh, I don't know. That's <laughs> George is doing a pretty good job at that. Okay. Yeah, but, yeah, but if George. Hamilton leaves, he need another driver at one point. So that's be yeah, someone. but George, that's be someone. bro, George, are you seeing? Are you seeing the drive from George? That's what I'm saying. For me personally, and I said this two years ago, yeah. For me, George is a better driver than Hamilton. It's a call. It's a big statement, but I think he is. I generally think he is. I generally think he is. And yes, I won't lie to you that he's for him to finish fourth in that car mm. is 
But the whole season, yeah. the whole season yeah. so far, he's been out driving. He's Hamilton. been out qualifying. Yeah. Yeah. He's been out qualifying, out driving him. Mr. Saturday, Mr. Saturday, Mr. Saturday. Now he's also becoming Mr. Sunday. He said he doesn't want Mr. Saturday anymore. And even and even on Sunday, bro, he had such a good drive, man. He he start he start was electric, man. He had some good overtakes. He overtaking cars faster than him. Yeah. Purportedly, yeah. Uh, he overtook he overtook Magnus and yeah. he was overtaking cars unlike his teammate. That was <laughs> that, that's so unnecessary. That is so unnecessary. Wow, 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 and wow. and that and that's what everybody has been talking about because how how is your teammate how is your teammate finishing in fourth and you're stuck behind one car for the whole race. But there's a question. Like, this is a question that everyone and I have to post to you guys by the way after that race. It's a very serious question for us to ask. Can Hamilton drive a, a car that's not as performing? As a, can, the other drivers seem like they can. Even Bottas is pushing mm-hmm. uh, his car. The Alfa Romeo. The Alfa Romeo was, mm-hmm. was barely anywhere next season, last season, man. Now he's finishing top 10 consistently. Russell is finishing fourth. Ferrari power. Yeah, even Vettel finished eighth with that horrible. And it's the same engine. The old Mercedes engine car. Honestly, honestly, so honestly, in my, opi- good in my opinion, ask. it's good. Just that question. In my opinion, that car. First of all, first of all, the problem. I was. I, 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 we were having this discussion the other day, and the problem with the Mercedes is not. It's not the purposing. The purposing is a problem. It's a problem because Ferrari has purposing. Yeah, yeah, McLaren yeah, has purposing. The it, okay, the only problem is that once you come under braking, the car does not settle. It's still purposing even when you're braking. The threshold of speed at which it starts purposing is really low. So like even when you're braking into a corner and, and you, you want the car to be stable for you to throw it in, it's yeah. very hard to do that, you see. Yeah. And that might be the reason that Hamilton is really struggling. Yeah, he's really he's struggling he's to drive that guy. No, he's just <laughs> loving. He's loving the fact that Hamilton. <laughs> Hamilton, 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 Hamilton it's because, because yeah. everyone likes you, man. One thing, one thing about Formula One is no one cares. Yeah. yeah. As it's, no offense, but you're, like, you're, you can have your problem with your cars, yeah. but you have to. You're, the, it's you're basically like you you're the adjust. twenty best drivers in the world. Exactly. Yeah. So you so, you, you better pull up and, and and show what you've got. Not not yeah saying about this. I love you, <laughs> you know, driver, but you're doing a horrible job. You're having a stinker. Yeah, he's stinker. gonna put it in. He's a seven-time world champion. So <laughs> he was uh, he didn't buy them at Quick Mart. You know, <laughs> there's, 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 there's a reason he's a seven-time world champion. A seven-time world champion. So rough patch a little bit, but uh, yeah, Lewis come back. We love to see a black man winning. Mm. I don't see him finishing the top five constructors. But like like, like, like world WEC World Driver Championship. I don't see, I don't see, cause I don't see, like uh, uh, like in the championship. Yeah, I don't see him finishing top five because like like it, we've only had like a few races already. He's already mm-hmm. saying that me I'm out of the championship. Um, um, fight. But to be it's, honest, it's even like, Toto who said that. Yeah. Yeah, I I get it, I get it. But like, hey, bro, like say this like a few races after, you know, like just show some confidence in yourself. But I feel yeah, like I what 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 he was just getting at is. Right now, their priority is to like figure out mm. what's up with their car, how to get their car to perform, so that they can be in that conversation. And yeah. at the moment, they're just not in the mm. conversation. I think you should focus on next season. That's what I think. The season is not even halfway. I know it's not halfway, <laughs> but me, I keep on saying, but you know, the thing is, eh, I, I, don't, I don't, halfway I, through the season, he's talking about next I season. I don't see them fixing the car in time to compete. But they still That's need to compete. They, they'll fix the car most likely in summer during the break. They'll fix the problems. But after they come back, I don't think they'll compete enough to finish at least in top three. But let me tell you, Toto, listen, if you're watching this, listen, <laughs> what you should do, what you should do, is a sliding scale for CFD and for wind, t- wind tunnel hours, okay? Just leave it really low. Just leave it really low so you get more time than all the top teams. And we're going to have a, we're gonna have a beef car next season. If they do that, let me tell you, you Toto, have it here. Toto, 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 are you listening? I know you're going to watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Toto's going to watch but, this, so definitely, yes, we have to do that. But just about even what you're mm-hmm. saying, like, Ferrari prepared for this season long ago. That's yeah. what they are. When they you had are. nothing to fight I don't for think, last season. I don't think either of the Germans... You've had nothing to fight for for the last three seasons. You I had know, a long time. I know, it's okay. <laughs> okay, can I talk about something I know you guys don't want to talk about? What? Did you guys see that overlap? <laughs> <laughs> Nah, but Formula One, you guessed in Hamilton that How do you write that number there? 177, bro. That was unnecessary, man. This is my boy. Yeah. You know something you never even thought about? <laughs> 77 is, is a number. Of, it was Bottas' number. <laughs> Who's it called? It's called Martin Brandon. Martin Brandon, yeah. 
You want a nice man. <laughs> <laughs> but they really loving it, man. Yeah, man. It was, it it was, was a tough one. It was a tough yeah, one. Yeah, Max, Max had a really lonely race, so mm. it was nice for him to see his his old competition somewhere. You know, somewhere on the track. You know, if you feel me. You feel me. I'm telling you, people, you, you need to take care of your goals, man. You can't just be here. Uh, emotional, damage, <laughs> the whole time, man. The whole time, the whole time. Anyway, having Hamilton, Hamilton, we know we know it's going to get better. Enough about that. I want to talk about Yuki Tsunoda, because he had an amazing drive in the Alpha Cloudy. I think he finished, he finished P7. That was his highest finish this season. And he's really been struggling. He's really been struggling with the car. Even last season, you know, he, people are really hyped for him to come into Formula One because you know he's quite a talent, yeah. and we've not was it been junior. Too. Yeah, he was <laughs> <laughs> like one of the brightest like talents in the yeah. academy. Sure. Yeah, and so like it's really it's really nice to see him drive. He had he had some really good overtakes. Even overtook the 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 house, which you know like. It's so interesting that this season we're talking about the Haas as like a notable overtake, especially for the midfield team. Thanks, Baba Mazakin. <laughs> but but Magnus, one thing I have to say is I feel like like fast race is good, but they have to find a way of keeping that pace. Like I, I know that they're overachieving as well, mm. but still, like it, they, they always qualify higher than where they finish every single mm. race. And to be honest, I feel like the fact that they're, they're, they're driving a very good engine this season. They just need to push the car a bit more, especially with the engineers. Mm, the like, race is a bit And you know, like, they have one of the best team principals in Formula 1. Gunter Stein. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's the funniest. <laughs> That's the funniest guy. That's the funniest guy. That's the funniest guy. You know, they say they get better, but yeah, he's a very really good guy, man. So, like, I hope they can push the car better as well. And what about his teammate, Mick Schumacher? Um, you know, it's, it's, with Schumacher, it's just... I don't know. Like, I thought he'd do better this season. I'm having an issue with... Him not finishing constantly in the top ten, because like his teammate is showing like a crazy amount of consistency, especially in qualifying. I feel like he had such a low benchmark last season. He his did. T- his he did. teammate was mad. But the car was horrible, man. But still, like they were racing each other. Now with a good, now with a good car, he can't keep up with his teammate. And also, Sende, you yeah. know, I think you're also forgetting that. Uh, yeah, it's his second season in the game. K Mag has been in the game for time, so yeah, he has the experience behind him. And he's just able to exert more, to like yeah. get more out of the car, you know, yeah. extract. Just but the, the thing is, mm. Formula One is so cutthroat if you think about it. it like, if you think about how um, Alfa Romeo were able to cut a Giovinazzi so he's still a young driver if mm. you think about it. But like, he just never took his opportunity. And yeah. like, he's out of Formula One now. So, like, especially with the team that he's in, he's supposed to go to, he's supposed to end up at Ferrari at one point. So he's supposed to. He's supposed make. to, yeah, make. He's supposed to. Yeah. But you yeah. see, the problem is, yeah, if he doesn't get has that car going quicker, he's definitely not gonna make it too. Because Carl is still a young driver, and Leclerc is still a young driver. Are you making he a shout? Are you making a shout for Magnussen as the next <coughs> Ferrari driver? <laughs> <laughs> wow. The, um. No, no. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think that's gonna be their team for at least another five years. Mm-hmm. Which one? They're, they're uh, has, both young drivers, like not Haas, um, yeah. Ferrari. Ferrari, those are the drivers. So I don't think it yeah. has. I think Haas and Alfa Romeo might stay the same. Yeah. But, but someone, same. someone. Yeah. Now that you're talking about on the topic of Ferrari, yeah. I feel like I feel like Carlos, Carlos. I really, I'm really feeling for Carlos. Unlucky. He's, he, he was really unlucky with yeah, the DNF. DNF okay, the, 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 like uh, this one last season, la- not last season. Sorry, last, last race, race, last yeah. race. It was it was his fault for he tried to overdrive. Yeah. yeah. In racing it's called running out of talent. Yeah. <laughs> so so like he ran out of talent man and just went off and had a DNF. But this race it wasn't his fault. You know, even even in his interview he was saying he tried to keep it he tried to keep it safe, tried to give Ricardo space. Ricardo had a lot of space, even especially yeah. when that time yeah. had so much. Yeah, I, don't know, I don't know why he was so insistent on the He got he got he got onto the curb understeered yeah. into 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 Carlos Sainz. And it's so unlucky because this is this is the second time. But he's only been one big bad it. start for Italy. Like he went behind the grid too quick. Yeah, he lost yeah. so much time. Like I don't, like for me, Ferrari had a very bad start to the race. Genuinely, and and I, it's also just race. not fair to like yeah. blame Ricardo for the accident because mm. he didn't get a penalty for it. Mm. You know, so it was yeah. just hard racing. It was he a needed, racing incident. He needed to, you know. Also, he didn't get a plenty, but if you look at if you look at it from the like back cameras, he, he had a lot okay. of space. Just Some just space. just. Interview to be a marshal. To be a <laughs> <laughs> next season, you go give him penalty. Ah, yeah, the to last year. I don't trust them. No, but the, with those race conditions, mistakes like that are bound to happen. Yeah, and and, and 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 definitely, Carlos had tried to 
like kind of factor in the fact that oh he's wet and every he's wet and everything and like i need to, to give this guy space but the thing is this thing still happen only thing that's thing that's on his that i think is a benefit for him even though he's having a few tough races he has a new con he got a new contract the other day so yeah. he's, he's he's secured his drive until 2024 um which means at least he's not he's not looking over his shoulder wondering are these guys gonna ask me you know is yeah. is make sure just gonna come in and am i going back to the house how many more podiums do you think he can get you think mm, he can carlos with that car he can I mean, do you think, do you, how many more? With this car, with, with this, this car, I think at least 10 podiums this season. He's, yeah. he, I expect him mm. to consistently be fighting for those podium yeah. spots, for sure. Yeah, plus, plus considering, considering yeah, how... is going to be his biggest competition. Yeah, before. considering how Red Bull always have four cars for each race. Yeah. You know, two, two of the race cars and two, two trucks to remove the cars. Yeah. Like, there's always an opportunity. There's always an opportunity for these guys to, for these guys to just sneak in and... Definitely. You know, get a podium. Even if Definitely. it's Russell, even if it's I'm not I'm not waiting for Hamilton anytime. <laughs> <laughs> can, 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 can we have a conversation with George Russell? George Russell, that one. <sighs> he drove well. Finished he needs fourth. he needs his own episode, bro. There's more. Like, 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 he's, really, he's really doing well. He's really doing well. I'm really loving I'm really loving the fact that he's taking the opportunity by the neck and he's just yeah. driving that car. You know, he's he's carrying the team right now, and and that's the reason that he got the drive over over Bottas because. Yeah. If Hamilton is struggling with that car, I don't know what Bottas would be doing with that car. Apart from the fact that Verstappen won, we also need to talk about the fact that his champion, his fellow championship contender, just made such a big blunder. Okay, following he was chasing Checo Perez and he was really pressuring Perez into making mistakes. In fact, Perez went off at a corner. Like he yeah, he, he went he, off at a corner. So like the fact that he's seeing these guys under pressure, I don't know why he had to gamble so much. He was really taking cups. He was really taking um, cards. So there's a very big conversation at the start of the season where um, the, I remember Martin Brando was saying that like, can he keep the consistency? Because mm. the problem about him is he kind of tends to lose pace, especially when he has too much pressure. Mm. He starts to make mistakes. Mm. Has he become a mature driver is the question. Mm. You know, he's a he's a very good talent, but can he keep up with a championship? And he's going up he's going <coughs> up against Charles Leclerc who who mm. was given character development by Lewis Hamilton. You yeah. know, like having having yeah, to Max, co- Max Verstappen, Max Verstappen yeah, sorry, yeah. Max Verstappen, having to compete with Hamilton, who is so consistent. Yeah. You know, I think it really, it really builds you as a driver and like builds your consistency. He's having finishing under ten, by mm. but I'm sure, I'm sure, man, he's 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 learned, he's learned because I mean, it was a tiny mistake. It set him back all the way to like six, seven. And that's the reason why I don't think he'll, he'll be. He'll, I, think, I, think, I, I think Verstappen will still win the championship this season because of that. I don't think he's mature enough. Having been at the front enough to know how it is to like compete with someone at the front. But have you ever seen? Have you seen the guys after heartbreak? They always go to the gym and they just come back. <laughs> <in the laughs> yeah, maybe maybe this is the heartbreak that he's got and that's gonna transform yeah. his drive. I'm sure he's gonna learn from it. I'm sure, yeah. sure, sure he is. Yeah. Again, he had like pressure because it mm. was like you know a home race for Ferrari, exactly. so Monza. But yeah, yeah exactly. the Tifosi was there for. Tifosi. They, they wanted him to. You know, put on a show for them. Mm. He tried. He gave it his best. Yeah. But beyond yeah, that, there's notable mentions. Notable, notable mentions from this race. Let's talk about Aston Martin getting double points. Uh, yeah, that was crazy. Vettel, Vettel really. I think I think he really drove that car. Vettel did well. Even Stroll was ma- managed to get points. Um, Gasly for doing that hold up job, you know that was that was beef. Like it, it's not it's not he didn't get any points, <laughs> but like that was driving. Like that was some that was some really good driving. That was some really good driving. And he brought our overlap closer. And shout out to Red Bull man, maximum points hold fast second fastest lap. Yeah. And, and the and the championship right now has just burst open because like because right now and what, the race before like the race before I think um. Verstappen was, I think, for over forty points behind behind Charles. behind Charles, and now he's twenty something points closer. I mean, he's like twenty four points behind him. Yeah, and, and so it's like really close right yeah, now. So suddenly, close. suddenly that gap has really shrunk. And, and you know, the funniest thing is, yeah, and I was even telling, I remember I had this phone call with Wanderi. I said one day, Wanderi, my brother, let me tell you, Ferrari and one of those drivers are winning this championship. A Ferrari driver? Ah, none of them are winning. Because this is one thing, because the amount of experience of that Red Bull team is going to be crazy. Ah, yeah. You heard it from a Ferrari fan. He's not optimistic at all, so it's a second yeah. for the boy, Max. May, yeah. think, may think there's a Mercedes constructors in the works. <laughs> ah, you <laughs> hope so. Yeah. But imagine your dreams are valid. <laughs> Very valid. Very, Very valid. valid. Very valid. Anyway, guys, um, next week we're going to Miami. 
Miami, I'm excited for the new track. Um, I think it's going to be exciting, nice to see um, the US taking up more interest in Formula One. Um, so let's, 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 let's wait and see whether it's going to offer exciting racing. I really hope it does. It will tell America always yeah. offers exciting, yeah. exciting pre, pre race. <laughs> You yeah. know, like it's green like a walks and stuff. It's you like know, make the stallion, the rock. You know, yeah. like <laughs> um, you. I want to. The thing is, the one thing that I love so much is Lando Norris's glasses, man. Whenever that guy has shades, yeah, <laughs> seriously, so random. He has so the random. most amazing shades, yeah. man. Yeah. 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 Lando, Lando is a likable driver. Yeah. <laughs> so, so next week, next week, not next week, next week, but one Miami race. Um, that's gonna be a really good one. And I really can't wait for it. You know, hopefully Mercedes will be Miami, back. Miami, Miami. Maybe, hopefully Mercedes will be back. I actually want Mercedes back. So, you know, it's, it's like at the moment it's a bit too easy. Prediction? Know? I can't give a prediction right now. Let's see which teams bring up updates. Um, I'm, 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 me, I'm, I'm banking on Charles Leclerc, honestly. This guy is struggling in the, oh, yes. this guy is struggling on hotter tracks, not mm, like that. In hotter tracks. Yeah, but, but in the guys are heating on hotter tracks, so Max that's what happens. Yeah. Max Verstappen's car. Red Bulls, Red Bulls, Bulls are struggling. Yeah, that's, that's what you don't see. Hopefully we have an interesting race. Mercedes can come back to give us a run for our money. We don't want to just take it like... Don't forget to do consistent. So that 13th will be consistent. Love to see. Uh-huh. Yeah, Lance Stroll is his competitor nowadays, but I can't, I can't go for, for one point. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in for the, in the episode. Um, hopefully next time we have Beata back, make sure you wish her all the best. She's doing her exams. Wish her best in the comments. And we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, Hello, and if you like the content, tip jar in the description. Yeah. Cheers, guys. You like yeah. to- By the way, guys. <laughs> you can't be watching videos and not subscribing. <laughs> and press that bell button. Man. Share, no, leave so like. It's free. It's free. It's free. Anyway. It costs you money. Guys, cheers. Till next time. <laughs>